Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to adjust uh, Ampro Meterman 38XR uh, voltage uh, reading. Uh, this meter was I bought it about uh, two years ago, and uh, it's been working fine. Uh, but I noticed recently that the voltages I uh, compared it to other higher accuracy multimeters, and the voltage was off by about uh, 20, 25 to 29 millivolts. So, which is uh, which is a lot. So um, I decided to find out if there is a way to adjust this to bring it back into spec. And I looked online. There is not a single PDF or a web page about those. No service manuals on eBay. Nothing. So uh, I decided to crack it open and see if I can do it myself. So let's take a look what we have inside. Got an HRC fuse here. One here. We have uh, Cyrus Tech. ESS1966F uh, CPU and there's a second chip here I don't know what it is but uh, it's labeled CIE3875-1009 um, I assume this is some type of uh, RMS uh, chip or something uh, I'll have to find out later so uh, this one here the Cyrus Tech it's like an all-in-one chip for uh, cheaper multimeters uh, this particular multimeter has an infrared interface for your PC link. You can see it right there. And uh, <clears throat> so I looked inside, trying to see if there is any pots or maybe like uh, programming uh, test points. Found this jumper here. Don't know what it does. We'll find out later. Uh, but I did find a pot that uh, changes uh, the voltage reading on the screen. And that's this one here. It's between the two uh, orange caps. It's left of that resistor. And it's labeled uh, VR60. Uh, this is a single turn pot and let me tell you something if you just touch it with a screwdriver you're going to be it doesn't matter plastic or metal it's not uh, it's not because of uh, conductivity through your body or anything like that just if you just it's so sensitive if you just touch it your voltage reading is going to be off by probably a good 40 50 milliseconds uh, milli uh, millivolts sorry not, not milliseconds millivolts so um, I don't know why would they even use a single turn pot. You see stuff like this in like $20 Chinese multimeters. So uh, why is this not a multi turn pot? I guess they decided to save a dollar. Uh, this one here, uh, I don't know what it does. I assume it's a current measurement uh, adjustment. Uh, we'll, uh, I'll find out later. But that's the one that I wanted to uh, uh, to mess with to uh, fix my voltage reading. So uh, let's, uh, let's, so I, I set it up and uh, let's see how well I did. So how would I uh, set the actual, the proper voltage reading? Well, for one, we need the accurate voltage reference, and for that we'll be using Fluke uh, 515 uh, calibrator. Uh, I found this thing in a dumpster, and it's been recently calibrated and just uh, thrown out by a lab that was upgrading their equipment, so it's pretty accurate. Um, we'll compare it to two other multimeters that I have, just to make sure uh, it's not lying. And um, we'll connect it to the amp probe and see uh, what it shows. So right now I have it at 10 volts and this adjustment here is my uh, divider so I can go uh, 9 volts, 8 volts, 7 and so on. So uh, we'll set it to uh, 10 volts for now. And uh, let's take a look at the Fluke 179. So you can see 10 volts here and uh, we'll change the probes to Fluke 289. Oops. And there's my 10 volts. Okay, and let's set it to uh, say uh, 5 volts. Got 5.001. And let's check here 5.000. And uh, let's uh, try. 100 volts and that's DC 100 volts DC don't touch this uh, you can see uh, the plastic caps are broken uh, I'll replace those soon I'm just trying to find the exact same uh, replacement uh, terminals on eBay uh, if you have some spare ones let me know I'll buy them from you I'll pay you with PayPal if you can ship them to me um, it'll be great to uh, bring this back to its original shape so we'll go back to 10 volts and uh, x1 
We got 10 volts. And uh, let's plug the leads into our amp probe and see what it shows. And you can see it's dead on. And now let's try to just tap that pot and see what happens. That was about, uh, I'd say, 10 degree turn. And you can see it's the reading is way off. So uh, let's see if we can bring it back. there we go. So you have to mess with it for a while to get it right. Um, so yeah, that will probably be uh, replacing that with a multi-turn pot because that's unacceptable. If I bump it again or it falls off the bench and it's going to be off by 50 millivolts, uh, that's unacceptable. But you know, on the other hand you get your uh, uh, decent quality construction with decent quality uh, soldering job and decent accuracy. Um, there's actually the previous model 37XR has no infrared interface and no uh, um, this particular one has a 20 milliamp output for your loop calibration. Um, the 37XR doesn't have uh, either one of those features, it has some other features though and it's actually more accurate so this is supposed to be a higher model but less accuracy. I guess the maybe the chip inside the CPU is different. So this is how you adjust uh, Meterman 38XR.